Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today covering today charging time model S3 and delivery times for the European continent as we had some changes from yesterday till today when it comes about the specs you have to choose and with that as well the delivery times for the Model 3 in Germany but as well for the European continent. Um, I have more stuff to talk about today so stay tuned guys. Um, we will start with the Model S Plaid charging time which is pretty insane. Um, there are people in online on Twitter sharing now that they are actually having some insane numbers which are 50% of the battery charged in 16 minutes. That is enormous. Um, furthermore, it continues to be very high. So that is really good. Um, so we see some really good developments when it comes to charging times. Furthermore, when you go on the Tesla shop, you see that the Model S Plaid Carbon um, brake kit is out. It costs 20K. So um, yeah, just let me know if you would, as a customer of a Model S Plaid, buy that or you would go to a third party that might charge less than the 20K. Um, that would interest me if you maybe already own a Model S Plaid, then let me know if you would buy that. I would really appreciate that. Um, the next topic, um, guys, we have to talk about the Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, there will be free charge um, for the people. Um, I had to correct that from yesterday, but um, yes, it is for um, Thanksgiving. Um, and furthermore, we will have some more updates regarding the delivery times. So um, as the German market is currently actually just waiting for the final permission, which could be, by the way, happening between the 10th and the 15th of December. So the reason why I say that is it's because usually um, big uh, projects are confirmed by the environmental department by the mid of a uh, um, month. So that would be 10 to 15th. That is out of the experience when it comes to all the other major projects, all the other um, big companies going into Germany. It has always been that date. So we do see here job postings actually looking for students to be um, in the final production and as well delivering the cars outside um, to the site here in Grünheide. And these job postings are for beginning of January. So we do see that the time frame is correct. And if Tesla would get the final permission by mid um, December, we could actually see some ramp up here happening and that would be a major move. Then looking into the Model 3 charging curve and the charging speed. The same as I mentioned um, here with the Model S Plaid, Björn, um, the Danish YouTuber who is very famous about doing charging speeds here, um, was actually really surprised about the speed of the Model 3. And there were other people sharing the same um, that actually the speed has been pretty, pretty insane. Um, especially for the Model um, 3 standard range, as it was called, um, it took around 16 minutes um, to get around about 50% charged. Um, as I mentioned before, for the Model S, it is 10 minutes um, to get a really fast speed up. So that is really insane. These are really good numbers. And the good thing about the 16 minutes and 15%, for the Model 3 standard range. That is actually because it is LFP batteries and it looks like they have kind of dealt with all the issues that they had with the LFP batteries and now they seem to have fixed it and that allows Tesla to give um, more power into the battery without hurting the battery. And that is very, very important because um, the game changing thing is not only um, having the battery in a long life cycle, but then as well having a charging speed that is pretty insane. And 16 minutes for me is totally fine. If you think about a gas station, if you're waiting at a gas station and then you have to go inside, you wait in a line to pay and all that, there are easily 
10 to 12 minutes that could go by if you actually do that. And usually people go to the toilet and all that. So if we get into a time frame which is really, really competitive and that is good. And what I really like, it is for the basic Model 3 and not a Model S Plat only, but for the basic Model 3 as well. And the demand is pretty good. I have uh, reported that yesterday around about 35 to 40,000 cars in the backlog. So the next thing I will mention is the delivery times as we just talked about the insane demand. So what now happened is you usually can use um, a different kind of wheels, different kind of covers for your wheels and there are options to have another one, a bigger one for 1,700 euros. And those people who choose that extra um, fee, um, they can receive their Model 3 by February. But all the others that take the included one, um, they receive the um, Tesla in 2022 May. So there is a major difference now. It was all Model 3 coming by Model 3 standard coming by February. Now it is for some options already May. So this just shows the insane demand which we have behind here in um, Europe because a lot of people are ordering from Europe and we also have insane demand in other countries um, which are delivered from the Chinese factory. So if we um, get into uh, some deeper numbers here and we just understand what the cope of this entire situation is, we are so close, we are so close to the first production in Europe and this could really be the game changer. Um, I have a lot of friends that say that they would buy cars from countries that are even outside of the European Union um, that are actually might be in Russia, might be in other countries. So don't just think that Tesla will deliver cars to only European countries or European Union countries. It is the entire continent, including countries outside of the European Union, as well as maybe some North American countries that could be seeing some deliveries here or more deliveries in the future. So it's a major, major market, guys. And we have to see what this means for the ramp up. The only thing that Tesla can hold back next year in uh, Germany is the supply chain. And that is something um, we have to um, think about. But I think Tesla is doing very, very good in that case. So thank you very much for being here today, supporting my channel all the video through. Um, I wish you all a wonderful day and thank you very much for being here and take care. We see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.